Yes. defense initiative, trying to create the climate and political understanding for what you're trying to do. We, we want to appreciate that. Well, I'm most appreciative, appreciative of that. Yeah. We also have a computer wire service that we're going to start on May 5th that will go out to activists, uh, computer activists, uh, each day to tell them what's happening in Washington and how they can use their influence to contact their senators and congressmen on a daily basis. So we hope that'll be going out to five to 10,000 people by the end of the year. Uh, I'm excited about it. Because there's no question but that we're only getting some pretty sophisticated disinformation programs. Uh, one from Nicaragua that's particularly successful throughout the country. Well, this particular issue will focus on both the peace and the freedom issues, whether it's both your SDI program and your, uh, and your Reagan doctor. So uh, we, we hope it helps, and uh, well, I'm sure it will. I'm most grateful. You've probably been getting a lot of compliments about your performance the other night, but I thought you were uh, in uh, prime time style, as it were. <laughs> it was really a good job. And well, we're all thank proud you. of you. Thank you very much. Yeah, the, the line about the uh, about uh, only doing one thing casually in the last <laughs> seven years was especially good. <laughs> what, uh, what, we're, what we're trying to do with the, with the SDI uh, issue with the president is to get out in front of helping to frame those issues possible. We're, we're most anxious to, to, have, uh, to have you say, or someone say, uh, the Reagan agenda is one, two, three, four. Now, if, if you can reduce it to one, two, three, four, uh, we'd be awfully happy to uh, magnify that 10,000 to 10 million times, whatever. Well, I think we, I think we can. I, uh, we're still in the midst here of you know, putting together time and all of that, what we think can do the best, but we really do have an agenda that, that involves uh, the budget and involves trying to get a, a rebuild of the budget policy. I have to tell you, coming here as a governor, one of the states, I've just been aghast at how ridiculous the federal budgeting policy is compared to what virtually every state does mm -hmm. in this country out of the state lab, you wouldn't go out dead with a <laughs> thing of this guy. It's a real mess. Do you think there's any chance on the, uh, for example, on the uh, transportation bill of getting the vote chain to sustain an override? To sustain the veto? Um, well, I, I'm reasonably optimistic here. I, there's a solid core, and there are still some more that we're going to have to gain to get it. We can't get it in the house. We're aiming at the center of the think we do have a chance. And here again, that is a, that's just large of report. Yeah. Mr. President, is there any consideration being given for you to make a trip to Honduras to show support for the freedom fighters in the region? Well, I don't know whether that's as effective as trying to deal with that disinformation program right here. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, you know, some, a poll was taken. Uh, I had to learn that Gallup has a subsidiary in Latin America. Oh, it's a special thing. And they have done a poll of, of the Central American states, they're the people. And they found, for example, that 80% of the people in Honduras are delighted to have our practice maneuvers down there because they think it's a safeguard for them. But they, as well as all the other countries, including Costa Rica with its great to, well, you know, no army at all. All of them believe that it is absolutely essential that we stay there helping uh, the Contras, because without the Contras, the people believe that they are all, in those other countries, threatened mm -hmm. by the presence of the Sandinista government. 
Mr. President, they uh, asked some other incisive questions that you'll be seeing this evening in draft form as it is now. Uh, we have at 2 o'clock and uh, <laughs> probably to discuss that very issue, but thank you for your time. These gentlemen are among your best friends on the outside helping out on that. Very good. Thank you. They are really with you. I mean, you have the majority, overwhelming majority support. I want you to know that. Just keep on doing what you've been doing and your issues and what you're doing today. Amen. Thank you very much. God bless you. Pray for you. Thank you much. I want to give you a copy of my book. It's got several of your people in there from uh, and other members of the Department of Justice staff. Well, thank you very much. Glad to do it. God bless you. Hang in there. Reading uh, what is it? Non legitimate cover on the top. Yes, non legitimate. Kidnappers in Beirut say that a hostage out on the scene is going to die within 10 days. Is there anything that we can do for him? <laughs> you tempt me terribly, but look, I, I just got a hold of the rule. This photo opportunity, I can take questions here. You know, I would change the rules. <laughs> you mean you change the rules? It's been like air. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'll help Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, I didn't get my own kazoo yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> say just one thing. I can understand why the Washington Post couldn't find it. It's a foreign language newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me just begin. I'm pleased to have all of you down here. I should tell you that this highway and transit bill is too costly, and my decision to veto the bill can't surprise anyone. Secretary Dole and, and uh, others have sounded the alarm bells every step of the way. In a moment, I'm going to ask 
Secretary Dole to cover our specific objections, including funds set aside for the Los Angeles Metro and Boston Highway and Tunnel, the overall mass transit levels, uh, last but not least, those 152 demonstration projects. I do favor the proposition adopted by both the House and Senate permitting states to return to the 65 mile per hour speed limit in rural areas. And there's no doubt that getting a highway bill is long overdue, but this is just not a bill that I can sign. I intend to work hard with Bob Dole to have my veto sustained, and if it is, there's no reason why Congress can't act swiftly to send a bill to my desk that can be immediately signed into law. But now let me ask Secretary Dole to brief you further on this bill. Thank you, Mr. President. Obviously Help and guidance in their determination to free their beloved motherland 
from the oppressive Ottoman Empire. The Zen to you, on March 25th. Thank you very much. I'm very proud of this and of course you know that we in our country realize that the very nature of democracy came to us and on this big independence day I'm very pleased to have all of you and you here to, to visit us. I appreciate the entrance very much. And indeed you need an historical act for your presidency by the day of common celebration of the Greek and American democracy. We uh, were all indebted to you. Well, I am most pleased and honored to do it. And incidentally, on an entirely different subject, uh, I understand that you're a baseball fan. And, uh, how yes, do you I think am. the Red Sox are going to do? <laughs> <laughs> I always root for the sailor dwellers. <laughs> well, I'm kind of a rude that I used to broadcast baseball. I'm you a did. sports announcer. And uh, in those days, the team I broadcast mainly in baseball was well up there, but it hasn't been for a while, the Chicago Cubs. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I broadcast the historic moment when, or game, when the Cubs did games, when the Cubs did something that is still today a record. The only mathematical chance they had to win the pennant was to win the last 21 games of the season. <laughs> Straight 21. But you know, you can't do that without there being a letdown. The letdown was they lost the World Series four games straight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this time, very pleased and proud of this. Yeah, I'm glad that uh, you have accepted it with uh, the feelings that it's offered to you. Love, honor, and respect. Thank you. And the expression of the peace of the whole community. Thank you very much. May God ever bless you. And use your words of Theos and Sesebrogi. God bless you. <laughs> well, I'm, uh, I'll, you've assured me that sometime when I am, uh, if I get a busy signal, I'll know that you and Mary had me. By the way, we're almost of the same age. I'm becoming 76 July 29th this year. I was born 1911 too. Wow. It was a good year. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good year. All right. Well, well thank, thank you all for coming. Yeah, Mr. Gates, thank you, Mr. We are very grateful to you and we honor and respect to you for up on this. Thank you very much for having us. It's a great day. <laughs> <laughs> See you. Good to see you. See you again. Thank you very much. Thank you.